In this video, I'll be using Lightroom Classic to post-process a sunrise shot I took at the Old Man of Store in Scotland. The Old Man of Store on the Isle of Skye in Scotland is very popular with landscape photographers. The day before I took this shot, I did my usual location reconnaissance, looking for angles, framing, and how long it would actually take me to climb so I could be there in time for the sunrise the next day. It took me approximately one hour to get up to the top of the Old Manor store that morning. Now, I did something very stupid on this little adventure, and I'm gonna share that with you in just a minute. But first, let's rip into the shot. I've got it here in Lightroom Classic. Okay, so here we have that sunrise shot from the old man of store on that morning. Now I use my Nikon D810 camera. I had my 16 to 35 millimeter lens on the front. I was at 16 millimeters, ISO 100, F11, and the shot was taken at a quarter of a second. Now, on this morning, the wind was just horrendous. I did something very, very stupid this morning. I kept going up to the top. Now, those of you who know the Old Manor store, you would know there's a little bit of a plateau up the top where you can set your camera up and get a pretty good shot looking back at those three rock pillars. But on this morning, and little did I realize, there was actually a hurricane off the coast. And when I got up to the top there, it was pitch dark and I was literally blown off my feet. That's the first time ever the wind has actually blown me over and I was like grabbing the ground from it not blowing me over the edge. Very, very luckily, I had done that location recce the day before and I realized around the side of the cliff there where there was this little nook where the wind was bypassing over top of it. So I kind of like got down really low and scrambled and got down into this little ledge and hunkered down there and set up my gear. But realistically, I should have just pulled up camp and left because when you see this shot, it's not perfect. It's shaking a little bit because even though I was hunkered down that little nook, the wind was still hitting the camera. So you will see there is a little bit of shake on the shot. Anyway, that was my dumb thing I did on that morning. Let's get into this shot and see how it comes out. So the first things first, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna scroll down to where it says um, the lens corrections. I'm just going to remove chromatic aberration and also enable profile corrections. So it's just gonna fix up the distortion and everything for the lens I was using. So now we're gonna come back up to the top where it says basic. So first of all, I'm gonna actually lift up the shadows a bit so we can just see that foreground a little bit. I'm going to drop down the highlights. The whites, just gonna lift them up a tad. Now the exposure, I'm pretty happy with that exposure. I guess I could lift it up just a little tiny bit more. Right, now let me just push into those rock pillars over there. You'll see there's just this little micro bit of shake in the camera. It's not dramatic, but that little shake is there. Now, what you could actually do is drop this into something like a program that I have, and it's Topaz Denoise AI. And what that does is it eliminates noise as well as some shake. And it does a really good job. I've actually done a video on that. And if you haven't seen it, I'm just gonna leave it up here for you to check out a little bit later on. I'm just going to add a little bit of clarity in Lightroom Classic, just to bring that definition out in the rock. Um, now, come back out. I like to use the dehaze just to give me a little bit more definition in the cloud and the sky. So if we just lift up dehaze and you'll see that cloud just becoming more defined. With my vibrance, I always love color in my landscape photography shots. So with the vibrance, I do lift that up substantially. I'll bring that up to about 20. Just gonna lift up that saturation to about 25. Now the sun was just about to come over the horizon here and that beautiful color was just starting to come underneath the clouds. And the beautiful thing about this shot, there was this rainstorm happening. What I wanna do is just accentuate the colors on that. We just need to come down to that color section in Lightroom Classic. You'll see that there's pinks and purples. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna accentuate that purple by just lifting up that color and it's gonna bring out that vibrance just that little bit more. You don't wanna to go too much or it will look too surrealistic. So I've only added like about 17 at this stage. With things like the pinks and the reds, I'm just gonna lift that up as well. Come up to the red there 
lift that up. The beautiful thing about the Isle of Skye, it has the most beautiful lush green hills. So we're gonna accentuate that as well. We're gonna lift up the green and you can see that green is really now starting to pop. I'm pretty sure from my memory, I've actually got a landscape polarizer filter on the front of this camera and that was from Lee Filters. And it was such a good landscape photography circular polarizer filter. It really accentuated the reds and greens in the landscapes. Now let's just have a quick look at that at full screen. All right, what have we got? That's looking pretty good. I'm happy with that, but we can do better yet. Let's just have a look at the before and after. What you do is with the before and after, you just hit on the Y key and you can see there that you've got your before and after shot or you just go to the backslash key and that'll just take you to the before, let go and that shows you what you're doing now. You can really see the difference when you make those lens corrections to begin with. But already from the original to the shot we're working on now, it's starting to look much better. Now what I like to do with my photos, because we're dealing with YouTube here, and YouTube is a 16.9 format, I'm gonna crop it to 16.9. So we just come up to the crop tool here, make sure your lock button is in the off position, go to the original and then hit 16.9. So I'm just gonna lift up that framing to something like about there and I'm just going to enter. Let's have a look at that full screen. So that's looking quite nice. What I'm going to do though, is I want to accentuate those three rock pillars of the store over there. I'm just gonna escape out of there. I'm gonna come over to creating a brush. So I'm just gonna very finely paint around the old man of store here. And I'm just gonna lift the exposure up on that so I can get a little bit more clear definition in the rocks. You can see now they're just now starting to come out a little bit better instead of being too dark in the shot. It really does bring back incredible memories of that morning, but you know, looking back now, I was silly. I shouldn't have done this. I should have come up the next morning, tried the next morning. And I think from memory, it was actually a better sunrise the next morning. So that's what it looks like at the end. Let's go back to the before. I really love that dynamic range and those Nikon cameras. Look at that before and after, and the way the color just pops now. So there you go, that is the old man of store during a very stormy and windy sunrise. So the shot turned out okay. It's by no means perfect due to the shake of the wind on the camera. But realistically, I should have stopped that morning and headed back down when that hurricane-like wind hit me near the top. No photograph is worth your life, that is for sure. What I should have done is just pack up and just try again the next morning. Anyway, that's all history now, I'm still here. Thank you so much for watching, never stop creating, and I'll see you next time.